Today we will be making a no egg vanilla ice cream recipe. We will be using a KitchenAid stand mixer. I have the professional 600 6 quart series mixer right here and we will be using the ice cream bowl attachment that you can purchase uh, separately for this machine. Uh, I have two tips when using an ice cream bowl attachment for a successful recipe. Tip one is to not overload the machine and therefore we will only be making around one quart of uh, our base. Step two is to put your freezer on the lowest possible setting uh, so it gets fairly cold and then to uh, freeze the bowl for the recommended time the manufacturer states which is around 15 hours. Uh, you can go a little more uh, if you want. Um, so our recipe is as follows. There are five ingredients. We have one cup of whole milk, one cup of sugar, two cups of heavy cream or heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and a large pinch of salt. Our base is going to have between a 18 to 20 percent fat content. You can go ahead and make this base uh, right away to use uh, immediately or you can take it and put it in the fridge uh, until you're ready to use it. So let's go ahead and start combining the ingredients together. So let's take our one cup of milk followed by our one cup of sugar. Here I like to dissolve the sugar so I'll give it a quick whisk to get the process moving. Next, I will add in the two cups of heavy cream. Followed by the one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And the salt. We will whisk it uh, one more time. Okay. And now I will go ahead and get the mixer bowl attachment for the machine uh, out of the freezer. Uh, before we do that though, uh, on this spring attachment that comes with it, there are two holes. The, there is the larger hole and the smaller hole. Uh, we will be using the smaller hole and you'll actually just take it and slide it right on here. You'll push up and it'll pop right on just like that. Um, and it just feels snug once it's on. Uh, let's go ahead and get the mixer bowl and then we'll get our base in the uh, machine and we'll start running it. Alright, so we now have the uh, ice cream bowl attachment here. I just took it out of my freezer and my freezer was set to 2 degrees Fahrenheit so it's really cold. We're going to go ahead and slide it on. We will pop it in. We will then take the paddle attachment and we will stick it in the machine. We will then lift it up. I like to do a pre-run where I'll just run it to make sure everything's working. Um, if there's excessive clicking, it would be something is not attached properly between the spring attachment and the paddle. So let's just test that. All right, everything seems to be working fine. Uh, I'll give the ice cream base one more stir uh, to get any sugar that has not yet dissolved from the bottom or needs to be mixed in. We will then put the machine on the first setting, um, which I believe is stir, the lowest, and then we will pour it in and we're going to wait probably around 25 to 28 minutes uh, for the ice cream to be done. Alright, so it's been about 28 minutes, so let's go ahead and test the ice cream. We'll lower the machine. We'll take out the bowl. And just looking at the ice cream itself, uh, if we can see it's, uh, it's pretty frozen. However, it's starting to get to that point where uh, we don't want to overdo it. So, we have a good amount of uh, ice cream in there. Let's go ahead and hit it off. Two, 
show you the consistency of my ice cream, I am going to uh, just take a scoop and put it on a plate here. And we can see it's fairly soft and it doesn't really form a perfect ball right now. So, uh, although you could eat this ice cream right away, coming right out of the machine, it is recommended now to put it in a container and then get that container in the freezer for about four hours. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is a one quart container, uh, and I actually have a quite a bit of extra in here. So we're going to go ahead and get this in the freezer. So we've had our ice cream in the freezer now for about 24 hours. Let's go ahead and check the texture. We're just going to run a spoon through it right out of the freezer, and we can see it easily pulls through. It's got a very nice uh, color. It's solidified very well. This texture looks to be really smooth and delicious. So let's go ahead and get this on a plate and let's enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and scoop our ice cream now. We have a ice cream scoop here and some hot water, which is gonna make the process even easier. So let's go ahead and grab some. Now this is definitely a two scoop. We gotta go for ourselves. Friends and family can come after. We uh, get our own plate. All right, now we're gonna put some whipped cream. And I have a strawberry here that I cut on the bias just so I can fan it out a little. And I think this needs some chocolate sauce. Now doesn't that look delicious? Well everyone, enjoy making this recipe and have a great day. Let's dig in. This is very good. Thank you, everyone. Oh, yeah. Perfect ice cream.